Orange juice. We get orange juice delivered to our door with the milk on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. We get one pint of milk and one carton of orange juice. So one Monday morning I go out there and there's one pint of milk and no orange. So I go, ah, damn, the milkman's forgotten to deliver the orange. I love orange juice for breakfast. So on Tuesday, I got up in time to meet the milkman and I say to him, hey, you forgot to deliver the orange yesterday. No, I never, he said. Afraid you did, I said. I delivered your orange yesterday, he says. Well, it wasn't there when I came to collect it. So I got another one off him. On Wednesday, same again. One pint of milk, no orange. So on Thursday, I waited for him again. Um, no orange yesterday, I said. Look, I delivered it, he says. Well, it's disappearing, I say. Someone's nicking it then, he says. And off he went. Suddenly, my mind began to think. Who is it creeping up to our doorstep? Who's getting our lovely orange juice for their breakfast? Someone on their way to work? Someone walking a dog? Someone who nips out and collects it and nips back in again and then shares it out round the family. Yeah. So I made a plan. On Friday, I got up, same time as the milkman, picked up the orange carton, took it indoors, emptied the orange out into a jug, poured in some orange squash up to about five centimetres from the top. And then I took some hot Jamaica sauce we've got. Now, I don't know whether you know what that's like, but if you just put a little speck of it on your tongue, <laughs> it feels as if someone's put a match in your mouth. <sighs> I love it. I put it on my rice. So I took this stuff and I shook in half a bottle load of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then... I sealed up the carton and put it back on our doorstep in exactly the same place. And then I went back to bed. Now, I had wanted to stay awake, but I dozed off by mistake. Anyway, when I got up, I went straight to the front door and opened it and <laughs> there was one pint of milk and no orange. Yes, I was so pleased. And then I thought, I made up a little scene in my mind. I thought maybe my orange thief is someone. Nips out, nicks the orange, nips back in and shares it out round the family. So this morning, this person did just that. Gets back indoors, opens up the orange, everyone's sitting around the breakfast table, pours out a glass for everyone, lifts the glass and goes, ha! Here's best wishes to those lovely people at number 11 who give us our fresh orange. Raises it to the lips, gulps and... It feels like someone's jammed a banger in his mouth. His mouth's on fire and he goes dancing round the house for the next hour. Stuffs his head under the tap. Fills his mouth with water and goes off dancing round the house again. He can't get rid of it. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe it didn't. Could have been a woman. Could have been a kid. <laughs> All I know is we haven't lost any more orange since. <laughs>